Oh shit. Did that just give me 1500 XP? Oh, because I picked up something. The Wither Moth is a curious phenomenon. It is tremendously large for an insect, and somehow its size allows if it I'm to expel again. a charging force when attacked. <clears throat> for this reason, few have survived to study it in great detail, including many notable academics. In fact, please do not inquire further upon this subject. I like the Templar. I mean, whatever works best. Whatever kind of works best in the moment. But I, I, I do gotta watch my uh, my resources. What is this? Daring grapples. <coughs> Sixty four with a slot. Thirty nine with a slot. I do like this hammer, though. I do like this hammer and the uh, the sweeping attack. <coughs> A chance to catch fire. Hit enemies will catch on fire. The fire damage deals pretty good. Da uh, it's pretty good dot. Let me move over here so it's easy to read. The actor who plays Malcolm in one of the Star Trek series does the voice. Oh, I, I know who you're talking about. I, I was actually just watching the Star Trek series where he plays it. I was actually just watching it. Because I've, I've watched everything because it's like nothing new on TV. Yeah, that was almost 6,000 damage. What the hell is this? Dark magics. Too late, fool. I control these spirits now. Well, that didn't work out so well. My favorite is the scoundrel. Magda is a fool. I will raise an army of souls from these primitives and chain them to my invincible will. Yes, with these heathens at my command, the kingdoms of the world shall bow to the might of the Lord of Ghosts! They may have to look up the table before. This is my, this is my first time playing. <clears throat> My first time playing Diablo 3. I'm trying to get through in anticipation of uh, Diablo 4 coming out eventually. No, I never played one or two. Like a bunch of my buddies growing up when I was a kid, like they were all into like the old school Diablo. And I, I didn't have a computer back then. <clears throat> I played on, I think I played mostly console. And I think when it came out, I didn't have a computer. And they were like, every time I talked to them, they were always addicted to like the no death runs or playing like on, uh, On the, on the one where like if your car if you die like your character dies you lose everything. That was back with one and two. You have to play the first ones. Yeah, I never played the other ones. Or I should say I never played. Uh, I never played very. I think I played two for like a minute at my friend's house.
but yeah, I didn't have a PC back then. And so I was like, you know, I was like, I need something to play. I was waiting, because I typically play MMOs, so I was waiting for New World to come out. And then New World got delayed yet again. Here we go. And a fancy shield. Die on me. Yeah, that's like three something. God. Space is rewarded. Thank you. What is this? Superheated on Fallen Four. It says something electrical mode. I didn't. I didn't read that whole thing. Let me see what I got here. Diablo games are all about getting the perfect gear and playing huge amounts of hours to beat the RNG. Yeah, I needed something to uh, <coughs> pass the time. All right, let's see what this has now. Enemies hit by shield have a chance to be stunned. Empower the law, <clears throat> surrounding you and your allies in a shield for a short duration. Passively recite the law, continually healing you and allies. Yeah, attack speed is still going to be better. Allows everyone affected by to run through enemies unimpeded. 30 second cooldown. Yeah, I'll stick with the attack speed. For you and your allies. Falling sword. <coughs> this is superheated. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I wanted to try it for the story. The local Khazra tribes have become a serious threat. They attack caravans and are moving into areas where they haven't been seen before. We need you to take care of this problem for us. We'll pay 25 gold pieces for every Khazra head you bring back. Fourteen hundred crit on the sweep, <clears throat> and one and two better. Yeah, I haven't done any of the story, so I was like, you know what? I was like, let me give it a try. They had the game on sale, so I I purchased it. So I kind of got kind of got a couple of games now I can work with. 
kind of have a few games now that I can work with. Damn, he came down with that big hammer. Chance of stunning. Huh? What's up here? An arcane dust. <laughs> that didn't work out so well. Appreciate them clumping up. But it's pretty good. I think I, I probably have to like eventually move up to the higher difficulties. I, mean, I, I, I have it on the highest setting I can right now. I have a hard time choosing between um, like the the flail and uh, and the shield the shield toss. It deals so much damage. I think you can only play campaign mode the first playthrough. I don't know. This is my first time. This is my first time doing it. I've never done the campaign. <clears throat> what I wanted to know was what are the, like what are those random like things that come down. Because sometimes you'll get like the electricity that shoots out of your feet, or you'll get like the like those green balls that fall down. Sometimes you get like a random ice thing. Not ready yet. <laughs> you get like these little random, like this thing. Oh, come on, 20 
five. Gives you random elemental damage every 90 seconds. Yeah, I was wondering, I was like, what is that from? In season over to stop. Ah, okay, yeah, this is my first time playing. So it's kind of like it's kind of like single player like Path of Exile for the seasons. Have fallen to darkness before. A few years the old, the game changed. They introduced the key players in just each season, has a different theme. I've never played Path of Exile. It kind of reminds me of Path of Exile. Path of Exile is a free to play game that's kind of like Diablo, like dungeon style, dungeon crawler, um, like you, that you go through for loot. It's got like a little bit of a campaign, and then like once you've done the so, like every every new season then you kind of go through the entire thing and then at the end it has like different thematic dungeons that they go for for the theme for the season and then uh, people like see who can go to the end first <clears throat> so kind of like in Diablo where you can choose like what your kit is for like your damage kit like what's your main spammable you can kind of do that also on Path of Exile So you can have like different builds, it's got different, um, like it has like a necromancer, like a two-handed warrior type, etc. Kind of very much like um, Diablo, but it's like a little bit of an MMO, because you see other players on your screen. Fine lyrics, Mana Courtyard. <laughs> Crusade marches on. Has the leaderboards? Yeah. Yeah, you kind of got like leaderboards in Path of Exile. For each season, yeah, it's kind of like Path of Exile. I'm sure Path of Exile <coughs> took a lot of that from like Diablo style gameplay. Let's see what I got? Oh damn, thirty six. Not worth. Ooh, two twenty. I'll lose a little bit of damage. Toughness and recovery. Critical hit chance increased by two percent. Grants 12 life per wrath spent. Crusader only. Uh, 4% damage is not that bad. <clears throat> Everything else I can kind of get rid of. 19, 29. Lose 1% damage for 3% toughness. 
And recovery. I don't think he wears belts. No, it's neck and rings. Regenerate 60 life per second. Forty two life per kill. Salvage everything, don't sell the other yeah, I haven't sold I haven't sold anything. That's eighteen. Yeah, typically don't typically don't sell anything. What do we do? Stiletto. Try and pull all these over. My random loot. Oh, here we go. That's the Highlands. Highlands Cave. Hello, sir. Reich the Apothecary. Help! Cultists have kidnapped my brother! Where did they take him? The cultists poisoned my brother and brought him to this cave, all because they want my elixirs. Follow me and stay out of trouble. Find the brother. Give me something good. I love this little spirit thing. were performing a strange ritual when I saw them today. One of their number stood soundlessly, while others thrust long spikes deep into his spine. He did not perish. And I believe that he may have even been darkly empowered from the implantation, though such terrible magic is foreign to me. Berserkers are considered weaker demons, but their strength is still far greater than that of any human. I have found dark spells within the cathedral, written in Archbishop Lazarus's own hand, explaining how to summon them. I pray that no other copies exist, so that this terrible knowledge will be lost forever. Stop knocking me back.
Yo, that flame down. Is so oh, I got something. Oath Defiance. What's this? Oh, Leorg something grounds. He's over here. I'll give him the antidote. No, they're here. Fight them off while I give him the antidote. Rip. Got a standoff harvest. He'd be dead if it weren't for you, brave hero. That's Take right. these elixirs for your trouble. We're going back to town. What did he give me? An oath defiance. Strength. That is nice. Is that better than this one? Forty-eight strength, vitality, regenerate one hundred and twenty-two per second. This one does not give me strength. Let's... Our criminals traded in your land. Crusaders have no land. We are united by an idea rather than a code of laws. I won't ask what happens to those who betray that idea. One eighty-one. Probably best. One ninety. will aid me. Sixty-four. I don't think anything is better. Thirty-four point eight. Not better. Plus eleven point five damage reduces cooldowns. Thirty-four life after a kill. And grants XP on experience. I think what I have is better. Fifty strength, fifty-five vitality. Yeah, this is definitely going to be much better. That is a nice weapon, man. Chance to summon. I think I I think I can eventually give him this weapon if I got when I upgrade. Wrath Crusher. Wrathful Crush. Alright, let's go. What's this thing up here? Oh, nothing. Almost about to level. Find Lyric's Manor Courtyard. <laughs> You have reached 26. Fist of the Heavens unlocked. Let's see what I got. This now has rebirth, and when you block with Pardons and Active, you generate a life faster with a short time. Fist of the Heavens calls forth a pillar of lightning. From the heavens that explodes and splits into multiple bolts, damaging all nearby enemies. 30 wrath. That's a lot of wrath, man. What does this thing do? Across the vacuum. And then we got Empowering the Law also grants a chance to stun all nearby enemies.
Life on hit. Alright, let's go with chance of stun. And then we got Akarok Champion. Explode with the fury of your order, increasing your damage and wrath regen. That's a 90 second cooldown. I'd rather stay with what I got. This is 20, 30 second cooldown. Increasing your damage and wrath regeneration. I wonder how long it lasts. Let's see. Let's see how long it lasts. Oh, and I got a new passive? Indestructible. When you receive fatal damage, you instead become immune to damage. Gain 35% increased damage and life. Per kill for five seconds. This is gonna occur once every sixty seconds. I'll stay with what I got. Next one is at thirty. How long does this last? That's a pretty long time. Increasing your damage. What does my damage go up to? This is 361. Oh, but it doesn't change here, though. Maybe it gives you, like, bonus damage? I'll give it a try. Turns you, like, into a little mini juggernaut. Oh, I like that. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> Not much out of this on the outside. You know what's what's really good? It's like uh We used to have this um hold on a second. Oh it makes you bigger. Oh shit. I didn't realize it makes you bigger. Turns your life into a dragon. Oh, that's pretty cool. It increases your size. For the duration. We used to have this restaurant over here um, by me, and they used to have such good artichoke dip. Unfortunately, they closed down. Everybody, everybody used to go there for their margaritas, and then I guess because their food wasn't all that great, like their regular food, like their chips and dip and stuff were good, and their margaritas were really good. So everybody used to go there for their margaritas, and then they implemented a uh, like a thirty dollar minimum. Um, no, they closed before the pandemic. They closed before the pandemic, but um, they implemented. Like a thirty dollar minimum uh, order, and then like nobody went there anymore. They used to have such good margaritas. And I guess they were trying to get people to spend more because their food was not good at all. Like ugh. I never ate there unless I got like, Chips and salsa, or like whatever. They had a. They had a uh, it was blue cheese. I think it was blue cheese and artichoke, and it was it was so good. It was like really thick and creamy. It was so good, and they had really good. They had really good chips. You get that. You get a couple of margaritas, and then you could eat that. You could eat that stuff forever. And then, but their food was terrible. Like, I don't know how you mess up a quesadilla. I don't know how you mess up a quesadilla, but they did it. But 
They did it. Takes a lot of skill to mess up a case of here. Stop running. Where do you go? There he is. Ooh. Yeah, it takes a lot of skill to mess up a quesadilla, but they phenomenally... Their, their food was just terrible. Uh, but their chips, their margaritas were really good, man. I used to go there all the time. When I used to, back in the days when I used to go out and drink a lot. And that's typically where I took like most of my dates here in the city. Yeah, their menu was... I would never eat there. I ate there one time I got sick and I was just like, never again. But if I just wanted to go and have drinks and get some get some chips and salsa. And the stupid thing was is that Thank you for helping me fight the darkness. The stupid to thing was is that evil, you would go there the of what it means to and I think their margaritas were like eight eight dollars. But it was so weird because you, you'd spend you would normally spend like thirty dollars anyway going there. But I think once they like forced people to have to spend the minimum of thirty dollars, that people just got turned off by that by that idea. Cause like after that, they were uh, didn't take long for them to go under. And I guess they knew that their food was terrible, <laughs> so they wanted to force people to try to buy their food and just like. I guess they were trying to get people to eat their terrible food. Experience gain. Not yet. To think the world is safer now. <laughs> See if I missed anything up here. The dead body. Yeah. Yeah, because you'd go there, because you'd easily. I'd, I'd have like two or three margaritas. I'm overburdened. I am overburdened. Plus my my date, and then we would get like. I need to go back. Chips and salsa, and usually I'd spend at least thirty bucks there. I mean, unless I just wanted to buy like like one thing of drinks and then and then leave, and then go someplace else to eat. But usually, usually I would just eat there. I mean, usually I would just like get um. <coughs> usually spent like thirty bucks there, but then once they did that, I was like, I'm not going. It was a bad idea. Forty two. Uh, two handed. Damn, that's some that's some beefy damage. That is some beefy damage. That's another two-handed. 82.2 and 81. Plus... 5 to maximum wrath. If only I use two handed. All 
Uh, I think I'll keep the critical. There was this little bar thing around us a few years ago that did Penny Pincher at night, but you only had to pay 20 cover or spend 20 of food. There was a lot of places around here in the city um, that I used to go to, and they would do like um, Taco Tuesdays, and it would draw so many people because they would sell like these little tacos, and it wasn't really much. But it's like when you're out when you're out drinking, like you don't even pay attention a lot of times to how much you're how much you're you're eating. And so you'd fill up on, like, they, they did so well and <laughs> never eat the food. As it's, some of these places is a good way, good way to get sick. But the one bar that was further downtown uh, in the city, and I used to go there on Tuesdays because they had really good beers. And then they had Taco Tuesdays, and it would get so crowded. It would get so crowded because for some reason it's like good beer and and tacos and then the place would just get the place would just get packed with people so it was a, it was a real good uh social watering hole to go out and meet people but it's like when people make like silly choices i just want to see what this looks like what's this going to turn my dps into 367 600 that is a lot of damage man that is, I just lose out on the shield for the bonus damage. That is a sexy flail. Look at that. What is he using? 182. That is a sexy flail. Yeah, there was a couple of places here in the city that that used to, that would have like some really good taco places, but it's like everything is everything is closed right now, or just doing, uh, or they're just doing like to go. I think more places now are doing um, where like they're taking up like the parking spaces on the street. I might save that. I might save the flail. Let's put these away. That's the what that's the one crappy thing. Blacksmith belongings. Nothing. That's the one crappy thing. Like I I moved to I moved to the city for like the, the nightlife and going out all the time and this is like everything is closed and who knows how long it's gonna be before everything opens. It's probably not gonna be till like after the election. Cause they're literally just keeping the city closed for like political reasons because i haven't seen i haven't seen a case here i work as a nurse i haven't seen a case in like almost two months in the hospital so they're like keeping the city closed for nothing for nothing I miss something over here. Yep. So it'd be nice to be able to go out again. At least for the gym. Like the, even the gyms aren't even open yet. And it's like you got a disease that primarily affects people who are like diabetic and overweight. And they're like shut down the gyms and restrict people's movement. Como is funny, yeah. Well, it wasn't a good idea to send all those nursing home patients who had COVID back to the nursing home. That wasn't exactly the best idea. That caused a lot of uh, spread. Ooh, was a lot of holy shit. It wasn't exactly the best idea. I could do that again. Oh, that looks cool. It even changes his map. Brutal 
complete. Because there's like a lot of other places like Florida and Texas that are having spikes very similar and they're like their death rate is nowhere near what New York's was. I think New York has like a higher death rate. New York alone has a high, had a higher death rate than like a lot of countries. There is a new piece to the game. A girl named Leah. My spies tell me she is the child of the witch Adria, who is hiding in the deserts of Chaldeum. Bring this news to the master at once. Show them no mercy, for they shall grant us no Pallid malaise has fallen over the manor we now call home. Young Albrecht seems to be enjoying himself in our new home, however. Perhaps I am simply suffering from an imbalance of humors. Yeah, it's much by better. The recent change of climate. But they still haven't opened the city. But it's been it's been pretty crazy because the weird thing is like Cuomo is always every day he comes on and every day he posts on, on Twitter to wear a mask or a mask. But if you look at some of like the in the city, they've had demonstrations in the thousands of people, literally thousands. Not not even far from from where I live, over here on Second Avenue, on Third Avenue, up here, on like 80, 86th Street, there are thousands upon thousands of protesters. Then they had thousands, like tens of thousands of people, that were gathered by the museum in in uh, in Brooklyn for. Uh, What's it called? For trans awareness. And there it was like a sea of people. And then they had thousands of protesters that were by the Jacob Javits Center in Brooklyn. And zero spike in cases in New York. Zero spikes in cases. And that was weeks ago. So it's like... Whoever was going to die of COVID, like, died of COVID already. It was it was probably more of the, the mismanagement. Cause most of the people were like nursing home patients. And then instead of instead of instead of utilizing like they converted the Javits Center and um They converted uh a bunch of other places. They had like tented hospitals right here at the park. And then they had the ship and they barely used any of it. And so instead of like isolating a lot of these patients, they just threw them back into the nursing homes and it just spread like wildfire. He's unstoppable. No mortal could slaughter our brethren with such ease. He is here. I'm here. Delay him while I prepare his demise in the depths below. That was easy. Pair of leggings. They did horrible things to us. Did you see a man in rags? Yes, the man with the golden eyes. I saw Magda take him into Leoric's old torture chambers below us. You have done your duty, friend. I will deal with Magda. The, the problem is, is the, the long-term... The long-term effects of keeping the city closed will harm more people than die from the virus. 91... Eh, I can lose the decks. Because the city for months is going to lose a lot of revenue and then on top of that they have like a two they have like a two week quarantine here um they have a two a two week quarantine here in the city if you leave and go to any any sort of a hot spot so they even have travel nurses that that were like te are temporarily here and then uh one of them went back home to check in on his family and came back and he had to uh you know, you have to get tested. 
it's gonna cost it's gonna cost the it's gonna cost the city a lot of money a lot of the money they make is on tourism I got failings Holy cause. The problem was they closed they closed the city really late. They closed the city really late. And so now he's like very scared to open up. Cause he realized he closed really late. The crusade marches on. And then, and then, and then he spread a lot of like hysteria when they were like, "We're gonna need a hundred thousand beds and thirty thousand ventilators," and then he need any of that shit. Oh, two-handed mace. Damn! If only, if I only, if only. I could use it. Let me see what I got. 80.5. It's gotta be like 100. 105. That is sexy. With a slot. Monster kills again at 25. 1.5% chance of knockback. 500 HP on a hit. <laughs> 500 HP on a hit. Like you never die. We'll see. We shall see. We're already already in phase four. I was like crawling out of the oven. But the the, the other issue is that the, I, I I know they're gonna end up raising uh, I know they're gonna end up raising taxes in the city, and I think like I already pay a lot in taxes. And then between that and then we've had the huge rise in crime in the city, like. There was a there was a guy up here in Harlem not long ago. Like it was last week. There was like they were like shooting a freaking Uzi in the street in the middle of the night. But the crime is the crime is so high. You know, a lot of it unfortunately gets gets underreported. Oh, I missed. A lot of that stuff, unfortunately, gets gets underreported. Bring him to me that I may rend the flesh from his bones. I like having that extra shot. Yeah, there was a, yeah, it was it was right here in Harlem when I when I when I got off, and then on top of that you have uh, on top of that you have like the mess because it is another thing entirely. They're like ripping up the garbages and throwing all shit in the street.
like a, a lot of the, a lot of that they don't show on TV. The, it was like the graffiti in the city. So it's like it's not just that the city is closed, but it's like as a result of poor management, we've got more violence. They've had a. Uh, they've had like random killings in broad daylight of just people getting shot. Like, it's crazy. Like a lot of the news, I, I usually I usually link the news articles on my on my Twitter with the videos, and there's been so many sh there's been so many shootings here. A lot of them take place during broad daylight. These bitches won't go down easily. Didn't kill him? Not really yeah, there's been there's been a lot there's been a lot of shootings, a lot of people have have died. It was like two hundred shootings. There was like two hundred shootings over uh, over the fourth of July weekend. Not all of it is peaceful, and the police and with other agencies occupied, the crime rates are surging. Well, they're, the police are having to occupy because of the crime. When the moment the moment they said that they were defunding the police in New York, the crime spree, the crime spree went up. Like there was literally videos of them breaking into, um, like right here on, well, I should say right here on 60. 65th Street and uh, and Lexington, where you have like all of the boutiques and stuff, and all of like the uh, very expensive stores, and they were literally breaking into them. They were literally breaking into all of these uh, like expensive high-end retail stores, and the police were there. The police were literally there, and they and De and uh, De Blasio wouldn't let the police intervene. Like the police would literally be sitting there, standing there, at the corner. There'd be like five, six, seven police officers, and like forty or fifty people just literally breaking down into the stores, and De Blasio would not let them uh, arrest them. And that went on for a while. So it just incurred, and then the same thing started to happen uptown in the Bronx. The same thing started to happen uptown in the Bronx, and then they started covering it. And the only reason that they started covering it was because they were breaking into black neighborhoods. And, the, and you had a bunch of black people on TV saying, like, how is this Black Lives Matter? You're, you're breaking into black-owned businesses. It was the only reason it was on TV. I going the wrong way. Yeah, this way. And so that's why, like, in every de democratic state, wherever they have said we're going to be defunding the police, the crime rate has surged. I think I already went that way. Let's 
So it's like living in living, living in New York used to be so much fun. It's like everything is closed, and on top of that, there's crime everywhere. To control of my thoughts away from me. Voices direct me to horrendous acts, and there are times when I seem unable to control my body. Lazarus knows. This is certain. He looks at me strangely when he thinks me otherwise disposed. <coughs> Is there nothing here? Nothing? I must have missed it. Yeah. All these bodies. Here we go. Not even a sweat. The torture tools. All of agony too. Go to the Highlands Passage. Open. Oh, damn. Take that. Looks like it's probably the way. Let's check down here first. Actually, maybe this is the way. Nope, this is not the way. So yeah, it's a whole year. I was like, I can't even do any traveling just yet. I think the only place I can kind of go right now is like DR. So I might go to, I might go to DR this year. Pretty. Oh shit. 28. New skills. 
Three strength, one dex, one int, two vitality. So I might go to DR this year. I used to travel a lot to uh, to Colombia, but I think they're still currently closed. So I'm probably gonna probably gonna go to uh, to VR. Say all the torture and dark magic to turn us into demonic slaves of King Leoric. Seventeenth day of Lunasar. Oh, so many bodies. This is terrible. I can't think. So hungry. Twentieth day of Lunasar. Master. Hunger. Oh, there he is. I was gonna die in there. Who is this? I heard rumors of vast treasure to be found down here. A damn fool that I am, I believe them. Don't know why I thought it might be inside an Iron Maiden. All I could think of while I was trapped in that horrible darkness was that no one would ever know what had happened to me. All right, I didn't see what I got on my level. Shield bash can now additional shields erupt from you in cross formation. Knockback. This one seems nice, 29, uh, flame eruption. I wish it said, like, how much damage it did. I wish it said how much damage it did. Fist of the heavens. Call forth a pillar of lightning from the heavens that explodes and splits into multiple boats damaging all nearby enemies. Your bravery has not, not wavered once. I salute you, sir. Good companions make courage easier to muster. I know the feeling. Gain a wrath for each enemy blinded. Blinded enemies take more damage. Judgment does heal for every enemy upon whom you pass judgment. I haven't seen this one yet. Let me let me check this one out. Summon powerful avatars who charge toward the targeted destination.
you heal to get 10% damage or that seems like the better option that seems like the better option guarantee 10% versus attack speed can I go in here? Oh, it's up, it's up there. Yeah, I want to, uh, to go... Because I haven't gone on vacation, because, uh, we haven't been able to go anywhere. Oh, that looks fucking awesome! Oh, there's no cooldown on either. Oh, that, that eats a lot, holy shit. Summon powerful avatars who charge toward the target destination. 30, 30 rap. That's pretty cool. Um, oh shit, I realize I have a bunch of... 42... Can he use it? He is 194. It's one-handed. Oh, help. that that sucks. It's because it has no strength. That's why. So the base damage is high, but it's got no strength attached to it. I gotta get all this shit. <sighs> Choose me. Reduce cooldown of skills. Now I'll keep the cooldown. This is pretty cool. I like the way that skill looks. I got nothing attached to it. What can I do? The summon avatars no longer march forward, but wield bows and attack enemies at range. Summon avatars charge the target and perform a shield bash, damaging the enemies at the location. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go back to, um... Let me see what the rest of these do. That's a fear. Oh yeah, let's go with this one. Condemn does vacuum. As the explosion charges up, it sucks in enemies. The closer it is to the explosion, the more enemies. I think I'll keep this one. Welcome to the Highlands Passage. Yeah, it's been a little bit since I've had obviously been able to go on vacation. I used to go on vacation like every like two to three months. I would go on vacation. So I kind of miss not being able to travel. That's a long cooldown. 20 seconds pass judgment upon all enemies in an area. Immobilize them in place for a short period of time. Heal for... Heal for every enemy upon whom you pass judgment. Immobilize them in place in a short duration. Don't think I'm gonna stay with this one. Let's go back to um, Shield Glare. Gain Wrath for each enemy hit.
Yeah, and I've never been to the DR. A buddy of mine who works at the hospital, he just went. And I was like, you know what? I can't go to Europe because Europe doesn't take Americans. I can't go to Colombia. Colombia is still closed. So I was like, you know what? I might as well, might as well go to DR. Hello. I am Asilla, once queen to our beloved Leoric. My servants and I were consumed by his madness. Now I give you my blessing, champion, to release my people from their eternal torment. Deserter. Can I go this way? No. Experience gain increased by 25. Mr. the spirit, the body. That's freedom. what it is. After so long, freedom. How was that sound? <laughs> kind of liking this hammer. Man. Crusaders swore an oath to dedicate their lives to the search. None believed that they would be the one to end the crusade by finding and cleansing the corruption. They believed the search in a goblin, a that goblin the discipline giggling. Of their life and journey was the true goal. The crusader was meant to find meaning in the quest itself. Yeah, I like this. I like this thrown hammer. I kind of like this thrown hammer. Oh, this is thirty one. That's nice. So the hammer will give me some more AoE damage. Body here. I am free. My gods, there is some else. Two more. Deal with him harshly. Freedom, after so long. 
No more. I don't think there's anything over here. Something over here. over here oh, I missed this one in the beginning I am free. 84 with the socket reduce damage from free, melee attacks by 4% over this place remains seek the warden at the dungeon center and end his evil forever I love that skill. Did I go this way? Oh, that's how I get in there. I was wondering, I was like... I was like, how the hell do I get in there? Out of room. Really? I'm returning to town. Let's get rid of all this. Converted uh, rigging. Cannot sell much items from vendors. Uh, I'm going to keep this one. I can't believe 500 HP on a hit. It's not even on a kill, it's on a hit. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. Because I want the cooldown. Two fifty six. Ten percent more damage, nice. Minus 8% toughness, 8%, 2% damage plus recovery. Uh, I think I'll keep the XP on the kill. We generate 104 life per second. Minus four percent. Let's 
66. There's a double slot? Oh shit, I didn't know you can have a double slot. Two fifty six. I think I'll just give this to my uh to my my minion. A hundred and five. Four hundred and ninety-four HP on a hit. That is crazy. Chest can have one to three. This is so nice. If I if I if I was gonna use two-handed man, this 500 HP on a hit, like you never die. It's like you're never gonna die at that rate. His is 182. 195 damage. I can't oh, use come on. that. Crusader only, damn it. Plus a slot. What is this one? Plus nine damage. That's a lot of block damage. That's also Crusader only. Puts me at 477. And I can gain some some of the recovery back here. I'll step with what I got. That shield is ridiculously big. Alright, let's salvage this. Plus three to maximum wrath. Gain twelve life per wrath spent. What's my base? It's so low. I don't think it'll matter. The ten percent damage I think is just better. I've got some brand new goods you might be interested in. Oh man, it sold it with the thing. 31. That's a two handed. Look at that, it's a better shield. At least more damage, more toughness, more recovery for 4,000. Clever Protector Shield of Invasion. Sixteen percent chance. Oh, I'll stick with what I got. This is not Can't raise difficulty anymore. Alright, let's go. Time for morning. This is a time to dry our tears and draw our weapons. You heard the man. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Prisoner is ready as you requested. Thank you, my lord. Your loyalty is invaluable in the midst of all these traits. It's the orc. The oh my god, he's gonna cut his head off. My old wife and queen conspiring Wait, what? against our kingdom. My love, I swear, I have never betrayed you. 
<laughs> oh Rise. shit. Until the very end. A grim end to a noble woman. I am proud to have played my part in Leoric's. The time of my lord's true awakening is at hand. That fool, the Yorick, was only able to resist him because he did not yet possess his full power. With the Queen dispatched as a traitor, I may now devote myself fully to preparing the boy for the presence of my master. Damn, so he fooled him? Dealing damage, your thorns damage every second. That's 30 for consecrated. Let's try it. The right to wear a crown is granted by the light. Dealing damage Requires burns enemies the with the power of Akarat. Let's go. Hall of Agony 3. This is a deal. 48 per burn. You can break stuff. It would be nice if there was an animation for that number one of the level. Does this actually reduce the cooldown? Like it's, it says it does, but I'm not. It doesn't display in the tooltip that the that it's lower. Look in the details to check the CD. You mean here? Cooldown reduction, 20%. Damage reduction. Not yet. Each and every crusader was a warrior of rare strength. They had mastered the power of life, of weapon and shield, and of sin. 
Each was sworn to live as a crusader and to die. Two hundred years ago, they took their apprentices and set out into the eastern swamp. the elite. Oh, what was that? A new chest, please? Oh, it's a purple ring. 60 strength, health globes, plus damage. That is a nice ring. Is it better than this one? Let me see. My loss of toughness and 2.5 recovery. 2.7 recovery. 48 strength plus vitality. Attack speed increased by 2%. Might as well put that up in. Good. 83 with a slot. That's nice. I need a slot though. I need uh, something to put the slot in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get some more cooldown, especially for uh, Akarat's champion. Try holding that control or shift or alt. When comparing rings, I forgot which one. Oh, for that. Oh, that's to compare the two. What is what is the control for though? Yeah, the ult doesn't do anything. It's either... This is control. Oh, that lets you know what the range, the possible range is for this particular level. Command sword. Another dead villager. Where are these villagers coming from?
Jesus, man. This thing takes forever. Another level. Achievement Demon, Demon Slayer. New slots, new skills available. Oh, what? A phalanx now. But wheels, bows, and attacks enemies at range. I think the one I want is, is this one. This is a pretty cool one. Let's see what else I got. Law of Justice now. Empowering the law also increases armor for you and your allies. Uh, I think I'm always going to want the attack speed. Increases attack speed for you and your allies. This gives you healing over time. Unless it's like higher levels, I think I would always... Heaven's Fury. Ooh, what's this? Call down a furious ray of holy power that burns all enemies caught within. 20 second cooldown. see what this does. And level 30, I got a new passive. Divine Fortress, your armor is increased by a percent equal to your shield's block chance. Or each point of wrath spent heals you for 25 life. Heal amount is increased by 1% of your health globe healing bonus. Your armor is increased by a percent equal to your shield's block chance. What is... So my armor will increase by 16%. Forty nine point six five. That was forty nine point six five. So I gained like four percent, not even four percent. What's the other option? Each point of wrath spent heals you for 25 life. Heal amount is equal to 1% of your health globe healing bonus. I think I'll stick with this. I'll take the extra 4%, I guess. This is a pretty good one if I pair it with um, the other ability. But I would want my block chance to be higher. I think if I was like 20%, a 25% block chance, 16% chance to block, a maximum of 75% block chance. Oh, shit. 104, but I'll lose 5% damage. Increases failing. Oh, the skill specific. I didn't. That's cool. I didn't know that. It actually increases failing damage by 12%. I lose 5% base. You'll be able to prove it block chance later. That's pretty cool that they have item sets. This is base. That's 463, 469. That's pretty cool that they have um, armor pieces that specifically improve certain skills. I do want to use that phalanx skill. 
Um, let me see something. Let me try it. Is it here? No. Here we go. Phalanx, I'll lose that. Let's give this a try. So instead of the shield one, my character just keeps on looking better and better and better. So they last like eight seconds and the CD is... The hell? Let me see what I missed. I didn't go up. Oh shit. You shall not leave this room. I'm taking it all. Disagree. Counsel begs me to reconsider. I will Damn. continue with the executions of those I find guilty of plotting against the kingdom. This thing Perhaps is small. They fear my eye will fall on them and discover their heinous, Damn. treasonous plans as well. Lazarus is the only one I can still trust. Wow, they did really good damage. Holy shit. That. I don't like the way that scoundrel looks at me. Huh? I Ooh. won't let anything happen to her. Of course not. We are honorable warriors. You and I. This one's okay. Um, I'm gonna swap this one out. Heaven's Fury. Let's swap Heaven's Fury. Let's put that one back in. And staining. I'll take that one instead. Um, the Phalanx one does pretty good damage. Handed? It is fifty point four. Damn, I'm gonna lose on the uh, the chain. I shall put that on him now, um, because he should be able to use it. I lose ten percent toughness. That's ooh, that's sexy. Let's put this on him then. Right, two thirty nine, three hundred two. Ah, good. I need to get him another gold ring and a necklace. Do I have another shield? I don't. So he should be able to summon it. 80 life on the kill, increase attack speed. Alright, let's go.
chamber of suffering. There will definitely be a must blood. be back in Tristan, crying over the old man's cause. She'll soon have another one to cry over. Yours! Meet the Butcher! I remember this guy from the, uh, the MOBA. Get him, boys. Oh shit, I got a flail though. He appears in two and three. Is it me or did they like Is it me or did they did they dumb down and make it like super easy? Cause like there's like healing pots and healing orbs everywhere and like half the time like I barely take any damage. Maybe I'm just that good. Maybe I'm just that good. Let's see what I got. Oh I got two items. Is it one handed? Oh my god. 88.2 Increase attack speed and damage. Of blessed hammer by 100%. What is blessed hammer? That is some sexy damage. 142 strength, 437 HP on a hit. This doesn't even sound fair. What am I gonna go up to? 606.9? <laughs> it's not even fair. What is this? Unidentified Greaves. New transmog. Ooh. It's double slotted too. They did make it easier compared to the first game. You can probably up the difficulty. I can't. I can't go any higher. What does this do? 30% thorns damage? Plus 30 thorns damage. That's basically return damage, right? This is just basically return damage. Reduces all your resource cost by 3.5% plus 10 int. Plus 10 int. The int is kind of useless, no? Increases resistance. Uh, I'll put something else there. I got two slots. Yeah, I'm already I'm already at max. I'm already I'm already as far as I can go. I can't raise the difficulty. I wish I could. Let me go back to town. I'm returning to town. Pull these things out of my bank. Leave the game. One second. 35 life, plus 10% life, plus vitality. Critical hit damage increased by 20. Increased damage against elites. You get adventure mode and torment up to T16 and greater rifts. Exit Diablo, or leave game. Game settings. Change. 
Here we go. Oh, I can change it to expert, which gives me a hundred percent. With the right gems and the right enhancements, a hundred percent. I can't go to master yet. This difficulty is locked until you complete Act 4 with at least one hero. Save and close. Resume game. If I die now, it's going to be your fault. Alright. 35 on a hit. No, no, no. Put one of those there. Um, plus twenty percent critical damage, ten percent extra gold from monsters, and ten decks. All right, I really don't need any of that one. I don't need the int. I need some strength or something. This is just reflect damage, right? The thorns damage. That's just if I take damage, it just reflects back 30 damage. No, it's not the one where if you, um, it's not the one where you like your character explodes. I think it's just regular. Right? It's not the one like if I die, my character gets deleted. I actually wanted to complete the campaign. Since I've never done it before. Increase Phalanx damage by 12%. This is actually nice since I'm actually using Phalanx. Is that a one handed? It is. 47.4. That is 103 with two slots. I will lose 7% damage and 10% toughness. Oh, because it has no strength, that's why. Oh, that was a Phalanx one too. So you can get like specific items for like very niche builds. That is a two-handed... That's not better than what I... That's not better than what I have. Is it? 47. That's 302. Thanks. It is. But I think the, uh, the summon. 1.4% chance to blind on a hit, plus vitality, plus cold damage. I think, um, the summon will make Good up, thought. the summon will make up the difference, I believe. I wish you could do wield. That would be cool if you could do wield. Unfortunately, you can't. I wonder if I should, um, if I should use this one. Can you buy gems? Can you buy gems in this game? Got the Adept Grimoire. 25 to 30. Let's level that up. Ceremonial knife. 36. Uh, 
You can't use flails anyway. Thirty-five. What's a mojo? A witch doctor. Thirty-six point four for a level thirty. Drop rid of gems and magic. Oh, you can't buy gems. Okay. Um, when three or more enemies are within 12 yards, you release a vile stench that deals 525% weapon damage as poison every five seconds to enemies within 15 yards. Oh, it depends on where you put it. Okay, so if it's in your helm, it's 10% life. Other is just 10% vitality. That's 10% life. Plus 10 resistance to all elements. Or 10 to vitality. I don't have anything, so... They're gonna be 10 int, which I don't want. I'll get 10 vitality or 10 resistance. Just do that for now. Let's get rid of that. Alright, save that for now. Let's get rid of the ring. I've got some got a right good bunch of things for you this fine day. That's two-handed. <coughs> Better gem soon. All right, let's go. Cell of the condemned. Playing this. What the hell? Oh, wait, isn't that the guy that they kidnapped? Give him back. That was simple enough. I am dying. Angel, take up your sword. <sighs> of hell are unleashing a tide of darkness that will drown this world. Already, Belial's shadow has fallen upon Chaldeum. Then I will go to Chaldeum and introduce myself to Belial. We must move quickly. Let us return to Tristram and make ready. Yeah, I remember all these characters from, uh, from playing the MOBA. It's too bad that game died. Such a good game. Time grows short, my friends. Even now, Belial's influence is spreading through Chaldeum. But how will we find him? We won't have to. Magda and her coven will lead us straight to him. I'm not going anywhere until no, Uncle Deckard's been laid to rest. The crusade goes on, but we must honor our dead. I have called for a caravan to guide us to the east. Speak to the caravan master when you are ready to go. We will see to Cain as we depart. Talk to the caravan leader. 
My friend, shall we depart to Chaldeum? Do I go? Should I stay or should I go? The drowned temple was once known as the Sarcium Emporis. It was the most sacred of their temples, a site where legend claims angels would come to impart their wisdom to the Nephilim. Who is Nick the Brawler? Enter the training grounds. What the hell is this? Some heroes are fighting each other in an area near here. Wanna go? Oh, and uh, you didn't hear about it from me. <laughs> what is this? Afraid of damaging your armor or weapons? Uh, that won't happen over there. In fact, no one even dies. Disappointing, really. You should try to do as much of those objectives as you can, but not sure if you can complete all of them in the campaign mode. That was a PvP option. It says for sure you can complete them after you hit level 70. Wait, what were you talking about? You said on the top right corner of the screen, you see a yellow colored circle on the left. Oh. Complete a Nephilim Rift. Use the Nephilim Obelisk in town while in adventure mode to start a Nephilim Rift. Use the Nephilim Obelisk. Where is the Nephilim Obelisk? Farewell, protector of Tristram. Farewell. Where's the obelisk? <laughs> now unlock. I have some new items that Oh, a different mode from the story mode. Okay. Um complete five bounties. Open up the waypoint map in adventure mode to see what okay, I can't so I can't do this either. A life with meaning this is raised the blacksmith level to level 10. Leveling up the blacksmith unlocks access to higher levels of weapons and armors. Okay, I can do that over time. Raise the jeweler. Oh, there's a jeweler to level 10. Where's, is this it? You have an ident. You don't have any unidentified items. Where's the jeweler? I like you. You know the true quality of my wares, unlike some people. Or is it this lady? I forget. Oh, what can she craft? This dies. Train the mythic to learn new recipes and enchant additional item types. I haven't met the jeweler yet. Is another vendor you'll unlock as you play? Is this worth um, is this worth raising? Enchant. Place an item to replace a property. Not at the moment. The mythic can replace an unwanted property on a rare or legendary item. With a new random property, you can replace the property as many times as you want, paying the enchant cost each time. What's this? Reduce cooldown, thorn damage plus a socket, a lose, a little bit of toughness, but gain next to no damage and a little bit of recovery. Well, the other guy doesn't have a necklace, so I might as well, I might as well put that on him. That's three hundred two, three eleven. Friends with benefits. <laughs> Friends with benefits. Complete one out of eleven. There's a wardrobe here. More useful later. All right, let me see what else I have. So I can't do life with meaning. Raise the blacksmith to ten. I can probably I can do that any time, right? Just a hobby. Raise the jeweler to ten. Watch yourself. Raise the mythic. Um, kill Uzriel. How do I know where this is? Kill Belial and then reach level fifty. 
So I don't think there's anything I can do. I don't think there's anything I can do. Thorn of the Invoker. Your thorn damage now hits all enemies in a 15 yard radius. You'll meet Belial. Okay. So then I, I can go to the next act. Then. So then I can go to the I can go to the next act. Right? All right, here we go. Here we go. Probably gonna leave it here because I'm gonna stream again in the morning. forbids us from interfering with the mortal world. Yet you have done so, brazenly. All I am guilty of, Imperius, is bringing justice while you hide, cowering behind your throne. Silence! You will now answer for your transgressions. Not judge me. I am justice itself. Woo! We were meant for more than this. To protect the innocent. But if our precious laws bind you all to inaction, then I will no longer stand as your brother. You chose to be one of us. Damn, man, ripped his wings off. Thus ends Act One. Tristram is safe. But that is only the beginning. The great eastern city of Chaldean has fallen under the sway of Belial, a lord of hell. I'd like to have words with him.
The last of the Hodorim. Banner of Shape reward. All much easier after you clear your campaign and get to level 70, or you can also jump into an adventure mode, but if you want to do the campaign, I recommend playing and enjoying your story. I've never done a story, so I want to do the story first. I definitely want to do the story. Checkpoint. Hey, mister. I got some new things. You should take a look. Escort the peddler. I can't believe what people throw away. I want to buy some of it. Everything I got is better. Oh yeah, I can still raise this here. That's PvP. My stash. Jewel of the East. Uncle Deckard loved this place. He wouldn't now that it is under the spell of Belial, Lord of Lies. I can smell his stench on the air. You two try to find out where Belial is, while I hunt down Magda. Your uncle will be avenged, Leah. Shadows in the desert. Go to there. Chaldean Bazaar through the northern part of the hidden camp. Oh, this is just giving me the update for this. There ain't no guards around, are there? Good. Most of my items have almost no magic blood items. left on them. Almost no blood left. God. Where do these refugees come from? I am not a guard. I am a Shearer, commander of the Iron Wolves. We saved these refugees from Magda's coven, but even now wreaks havoc throughout the borderlands. I am hunting Magda. Do you know where she's going? She's heading toward Alcarnas, but has blocked the road behind her. However, there is another way. Through the Kasim outpost. Go through the Sundered Canyon. Emperor Hakan threw his entire court out of the city. What's this? Oh, Tyrion and I learned that while the Iron Wolves were fighting Magda in the desert, the Emperor replaced them with Imperial Guards who bar all from the inner city. I suspect that the Iron Wolves were sent out to die. Belial has made his move. We must find a way into the city. As a child, I explored Chaldeum while Uncle Deckard studied here. I can get in through the sewers. Good. Learn what you can while I hunt Magda. Be careful. Alcarnas sounds like Magda's trap. To the child. What is that foul stench? <laughs> it's the sewers. The inner city is closed by order of his eminence, Emperor Hakan the second. For now, you must all remain here. Let us in! We are dying of hunger and thirst. Can't you smell the stench of death? The Emperor has left. Alright. Hard game to put down, yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stream again tomorrow morning. Is there something in here? Everything I had was in Alcarnus. It's already I'm here. Ruined. Go through the Sundered Canyon. Oh, I wasn't supposed to go in there. Alcarnus is being destroyed by the coven. I've seen people scream the This gate leads to Alcarnus. You will need to follow the long road over the canyon bridge and through the Kasim outpost. We haven't heard Magda anything. Magda will behind. pay for her wickedness. Take heed, traveler. Cultists guard these desert roads, and they will slay any who pass. That's excellent. I have some questions for these cultists. You mean to kill them, do you not? I shall come along. Oh, no. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed in a minute. <coughs> Have a good night. They will lead you to your death. Oh, I've dealt with this coven before. She looks different than anyone we have seen. Her skin is as soft and smooth as polished ivory, and her eyes, they... No. Oh. Why are you two whispering over there? No, no reason. Tell him. Stop simping. men as they are sometimes called have inhabited the desert wastes east of Calvium for thousands of years. Hey, the thank you for the follow. males are the tribe's leaders and protectors, while the agile females are expert hunters. Mostly they are primitive and reclusive creatures, although they will attack if cornered or hungry. They're in the wow, these these things do a lot of damage. These these uh bowmen do a lot of damage. Are they? You should never have That was very lackluster. <laughs> Those are like very How lackluster. Do you know about the ambush? I am an enchantress. The ways of magic and illusion are familiar to me. My name is Arena. And I am a crusader. Nice to meet you, Arena. Why are you out here? Well, I am also looking for someone. But here, let me clear the way for you. Oh, nice. Captain, from behind! Protect the people! Iron Wolf! If not for you, the Lacuni would have eaten well this day. You owe me your life. more Lacuni on the road to Alcanus? Even worse. Cultists are casting spells in two of their desert lairs to obscure the Black Canyon Bridge. Let us head north to the Howling Plateau. The cultist magic seems to be emanating from there. All right, let's go. Am I stuck in a sandstorm? Traces of their magic. The Dune Thresher is an elusive being with a tremendous capacity for bloodshed. It lurks beneath the sands rising up to seize prey in its jaws and rend the body until it is but sinew and gore. I... I once saw a thresher in the flesh and it rather disagreed with my constitution. Those foul cultists have come this way. The bodies of innocents are strewn across the sands. We must make them pay! And we will. Damn, 51 and a socket? Three eleven. Excellent. I don't know if the the summon will make up the difference with that one. I don't know if the summon will make up the difference on that damage. Just the thing. This will aid me.
5,000 per shield throw. Level 31. Plus ground. I don't remember it looking like this. That's the first time for me. It, it reminds me very much of uh, Path of Exile. Cause I'm still I'm still playing Path and leveling up my Necromancer build. And uh I saw that Diab Diablo was on sale and I was like, you know what, I might as well pick it up. Give me something to stream. Since there's no new world. New world delayed yet again. It's gonna be like almost half a year to a year before they come out. You didn't get this far? This is only act act two. I just started act two. I played, I played a little bit of it, like when it first came out way back, where you had like when they first made like the level one to twenty, I think free to play, and I only played it for like a couple of minutes. <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> I just suck my character. In. I'm really liking these little archer guys. I'm really liking these little archer minions. But it, it definitely feels a little easy though. Even even on this difficulty it feels a little too easy. So the next chance I get, I'm gonna raise the difficulty. I think I got everything. I don't think I missed anything. Yeah, I got everything. <coughs> but I got it on sale. It's definitely worth. Definitely worth the sale price, that's for sure. Or at least now I got a couple of games that I can stream. But it so reminds me of playing playing the old school MOBA. Unfortunate that they uh, they made a lot of bad changes that kind of caused the game to die. Oh, got a deadly mace. The graphics are definitely awesome, yeah.
I love a lot of the animations. What sort of emperor allows his people to fall into such suffering? The sort who is still a child. He'll want to grow up fast then. And you got a lot of uh, a lot of options. You got a lot of options to choose how you want to play. I think I gotta go back up. You got a lot of options of how you want to play. I mean, just with my Crusaders, like so many different options of how how I can play. Then they have different different classes. <coughs> so it's like for the sale price, it was well worth it. Where the heck is the, uh... I don't think it was up here. Nah. I just saw the entrance and I didn't take because I missed something on the side. Is that so? There we go. The Sirocco Caverns level 2. Damage reduced by 25%. I require more rats. Say, I, I will definitely say that uh, you gotta like level up the level up the uh, the difficulty like early on. Make sure I got. I think that's it. Yeah. You gotta you gotta ratchet up the difficulty right away. Let me see what I got. Chance to deal 11% area damage on a hit. I'll keep the cooldown. Increases falling swords damage by 10%. I don't think I got anything. Look, more hidden footprints. These archers deal so much damage. This is one of the cultist lairs. They are casting part of the illusion inside. My wrath is low. This should remove part of the illusion. with some reluctance that I write on the seven lords of hell for they are the greatest of the demons and even whispering their names seems to poison the air around me not they enough are right. divided into the lesser evils Belial Asmod look more hidden footprints
Not the way. Can I go down? And it's also not the way. Almost about to level. Take down. So many items. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just trying to find a spot to leave off. Look, more hidden footprints. Not ready yet. Ooh, good, good. Level thirty-two. See what I got. Everything is new. Oh, that's what I wanted—the crack one. You and Lyndon argue often, don't you? Our motivations are complete contradictions of one another. I am driven by honor and the good of others. He is driven by greed and by enemies. a calling that comes from below his waist. This one does. Taunted enemies will move and attack slower. For a short time. This one can do... The ground touched by the rays become blessed. Scorching and damaging enemies who walk through it. The Vile Reach. A pole arm. These maps look so nice. These maps look so nice. Oh, I was already here. This one breaks up. And this one explodes and does flame damage.
Oh, it does split. It splits into two. Well, I can't clear the bridge. That is not a way to clear the bridge. I was like, I, I wonder if I could just like leap over with um falling sword. This is one of the cultist lairs. They are casting part of the illusion inside. <laughs> there. That ought to dispel the coven's magic. Let us go to the bridge. do when Magda is dead? Her master Belial wants to invade Sanctuary. His brother Asmodan as well. I will kill them both, destroy their forces, and keep Sanctuary safe. How curious. I think it is time for you to know my true tale. I am not from Chaldeum. I learned these spells 1500 years ago. <sighs> my sisters and I pledged our service to a man of great power. We called him the Prophet. He trained us and placed us in a magical in this era. Dangerous. I like that. Come, join me. Not just yet. Damn it, 351 shield. 1.2 chance to freeze on hit. Damn. I'll lose a lot of damage. What does he have? Take it easy. Shit, I'm full of it. Oh, I got another ring. 70 vitality plus attack speed. to find the Kasim outpost. All right, I gotta go back to town. I am full. Back to the hidden camp. New goods today. Please look. You won't be disappointed. Actually, no. I want to uh, break it down. I'm gonna leave it here because I'm gonna go to bed. I've been not streaming for five hours. It's already midnight, and I'm been back tomorrow. It's actually after midnight. Shooting back tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. I think I'm doing a nine. I think I'm doing nine to one or eight or eight to twelve. I forget. But I'll be back tomorrow. Enjoying the story so far. I'm gonna jump back in tomorrow. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Feel free to check me out tomorrow. Doing a, doing this again tomorrow morning, and then doing an uh, an evening stream from I think eight eight to twelve. Yeah, my pleasure, man. Enjoying the game, so I'll be back at it tomorrow. I'm gonna hit, hit the bed. Uh, so I can get a good night's sleep. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Take care. Thanks for watching.